Why I sold my XRP. Welcome back, guys. It's Crypto Rocco from Rockstar Trading Channel, and in today's video, guys, I'll share with you my thoughts on Ripple. So, guys, first of all, I'll do what I do best. I'll talk about technical analysis and and why I sold XRP from a chart point of view. I'll try to explain to you where I've sold them. If you've been following me on this channel, guys, you know exactly when I've been selling them, and I know I've been getting a bit of hate, but I wanted to make this video a quick warning guys do not buy or sell just because i'm telling you to buy or sell please do your own research use the information i provide and then make your own decisions so like i've said i'll do my technical analysis first and then i'll share with you my thoughts on the ripple xrp project from a fundamental point of view and why there are some of the things that i do not like about it and hopefully uh, you can make up your own mind once i've shared my thoughts so without further ado let's get into the video the first thing i'd like to say is if you look at the chart guys it's in a massive downtrend it's always lower lows lower highs it doesn't look good at all and if you compare this chart to what bitcoin looked at 6 6k it is very similar this bit of the chart looks very similar and if this happens guys it's not going to be good so one one strategy that i'd like to talk to you about is people huddle saying that oh i do not want to miss a pump but when coins go up they do not just go up from one dollar or where xrp is now to to three dollars it's not going to jump from 20 cents to three dollars in one one night or one day it doesn't happen so if you go back and see how the pumps happened you'll see it went up slowly slowly so you had an opportunity to buy there uh, then there's there's loads of opportunities to buy so if you sell it doesn't mean that you, you're never going to be able to buy again so that is my thoughts again I'll, uh, the first video that i'm going to make in my educational group is about investing versus uh, trading so if you're an investor and you're buying here for a longer term growth that is fine that's not my style uh, but also if you bought it right at the top it's already down so much you might think it's already down so much i might as well huddle so that that could be your strategy as well i'm talking to you from my point of view so I, I i could sell but i could get back in again so that is a one thought that i'd like to share with you in cryptocurrency where people do not want to sell because they think they'll miss the pump pumps don't happen like crazy you always have opportunities and i'll share with you when i sold and when i bought as well that's one of the methodologies i wanted to share with you from my trading if you are interested in my my style of trading you can join uh, the the educational group that i've created i think the price is still 9.99 dollars if you're interested i just launched it today if you're interested uh, but again what i'd like to say to you guys is look at where the chart is like it's come back to this zone so many times and people are not buying and it is not breaking out so this chart is not looking good from from a weekly chart daily chart the trend has not been able to change now I'm going to use the charts that I've used to, with you before. So one of the trades I did this year, I've posted it. I think you can check the videos. I bought it here and I, I posted it real time before it actually went up. And I was really happy. It's my strategy that I teach. I've shared a, I've got a day trading video on YouTube for free. You can check that out. This is the strategy that I roughly teach. The trend changed. It made a higher high, and I was looking to buy the uh, lower high. And it came back here. It was bullish. You could see the uh, increasing uh, volume. I bought it here. I sold some. I bought some here. I think I bought some here as well. That was a loss. And those were two profitable trades. But Bitcoin could not hold above this level and could not break above this level. What we wanted to see was, if you go back, you'll see I do this. It did not do that, and it broke down and it was really not good and again if you look at here i, I sold xrp here as well and um, you could you could check my videos i've been making videos for over two years um i'd missed that and i sold it and then we saw this big pump what did i do you could probably see it this is where i got in uh, xrp this was a night if you go into shorter time frame i could show you this is where i got in and that was a really nice trade this year last year this year those two trades worked and that took a couple of losses as well you can see now xrp is breaking down again it broke down this level tried to get above it couldn't and it's breaking down again we'll probably see a nice pump from here but unless it breaks higher highs and higher uh, starts higher highs higher lows and higher highs i won't be interested and the chart that i mainly use is bitcoin chart this is the main chart i look at because i'm trading xrp with bitcoin 
and this is this chart looks really bad it's just literally gone downhill and um, I've made videos about it previously uh, when it was going down you can see the strategy that I teach it's not been able to move move above the red moving average and it is not good and the in the videos I talked about this zone if XRP couldn't break above this zone it's really bad uh, it's it had a jump from here which we thought it would then it couldn't stay it, it broke below it couldn't make high so it made a high made a high low but could not make a higher high basic trends again if you're interested uh, you can join our group basic trend change I'll, I'll give you a brief now higher high higher low higher high this is what we wanted to see we did not get this the Litecoin trades I've shared on this YouTube for free it, that was the main thing that happened on the higher time frame and I made money from that and I think a lot of people on my YouTube channel made money from that as well so at the moment it is still going lower 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 highs I will update you guys on the group and in the YouTube when this happens and yes it, it's not looking good for XRP and I know I'll get a lot of hate but I'm trying to be honest and I've been trading Forex crypto stocks for a while and and you see this all the time people on YouTube I don't want to name XRP youtubers they literally talk about XRP pumping to ten five eight nine hundred dollars without any experience to get subscribers and I know my subscribers is not as much but try to share with you real honest opinion so unless XRP does what I said it uh, wanted to want to see I'm not gonna look to buy it and and what is the price of true price of XRP we do not know the true price of Bitcoin we do not know so it's very difficult to say what what the price will do so that is my thoughts on uh, the fundamentals uh, sorry the technical analysis of, uh, of XRP I will share with you my thoughts on fundamentals the so first thing I'd like to say uh, is I've made some notes is ripple versus XRP I really like the um, the company ripple so that they're, they're doing something great which improve international cross-border payments but what is actually the value for XRP if ripple does well does it mean the value of XRP will go up so if I could invest in ripple the, the company the stock I would I would be happy but XRP what is the actual value of it what is the value proposition again I don't understand it if you understand it and you're investing in it that's great you know comment below let's have a discussion I'd like to find out more but that is my thoughts on Ripple XRP so uh, the, the, it, it, Ripple is a company and XRP is the decentralized token that they claim it to be and there's there's, there's confusion on whether it's centralized or not again you can argue Bitcoin isn't centralized and um, I'm a massive fan of Bitcoin but I do uh, read about Bitcoin negatives there's you know thoughts of Bitcoin quantum uh, that could affect Bitcoin massively with quantum technology there's issues of China having a lot of power in Bitcoin mining so I'm aware of those as well um, XRP this guy actually is really good I've had conversations with him and I do like I'm, I'm not saying I don't like XRP I like XRP with what they're trying to do and if they can achieve it that is great so I'm not saying XRP is centralized you can argue both ways and um, I've had arguments with this guy on on Twitter and he's a he's a knowledgeable guy so that's why I said this say I, I should actually put a question mark against it because I'm not 100% clear but I'm researching on it so that's why I do trade XRP I've still got some XRP but it's, it's a really small amount I think it's in the exchange Bitrex and I've got some coins that I bought and huddled like pot coin I thought with Canadian marijuana pot coin will be a massive coin but yeah that's a still a, it's only a couple of hundred pounds and uh, I've just left it really one video I recommend you watch if you're into trading Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies are we wrong about old coins and I share with you a lot of detail so guys uh, that's where one point I wanted to make the ripple XRP and the value proposition of XRP second third point I wanted to talk about was the centralization you can put a question mark on it but that is a question mark supply is one more thing because XRP it's not a mineable coin but they do increase the supply there's news of XRP selling millions of XRP again these rumors I don't know how how much um, a credibility that they've got but we have to look that uh, keep that in mind that XRP do release uh, they have a lot held in escrow you know they say they can't just dump it but I'm not sure that they've got limits on how they how much they sell every month like Bitcoin is mined but I don't know how much control uh, XRP or Ripple has on that so that is another thing to to think about if you're really invested in it long term the last time is the unique selling point what they're trying to do I think other people are trying to do as well you know you've got other money internet intermittent companies that are trying to do similar stuff so what advantage have they got I know it's cryptocurrency and blockchain but are they actually making the world a better place 
can people trust xrp so if people are transferring xrp and the price goes up and down like bitcoin that's a bad thing about bitcoin and and currency being a currency and bitcoin fluctuates so much so there are things that we have to be worried about i just want to share with you all my thoughts again do not hate me um because uh, uh, I'm, I'm talking negative about something i'm just sharing with you my thoughts i'm not saying negative or positive i'm sharing with sharing with you my thoughts hopefully this helps you make a more better decision and if it does help you guys, uh, I hope you subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification button. I think my channel is quite different to everyone else. Most people talk about things going to $100, $200. I think my channel is a bit more balanced and I try to be honest with your, my thoughts. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Uh, if you didn't enjoy it or if you didn't like the content of it and you, you think XRP is going to go higher, let's comment below and have a discussion. If you're interested in more about learning how to trade, um, the simple strategy that I've taught is an overview of what I trade what i'm teaching in the in the cryptocurrency group that i've created today so if you're interested you can join that the uh, special early access is 9.99 dollars for the first few people if you want to, if you're interested in that again uh, i just appreciate you guys you do not have to join my group all i ask from you guys is subscribe turn on the notification button and subscribe and, and smash that like button uh, put a lot of effort into creating this content so i'd really appreciate if you subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification button it really helps me out a lot so thank you very much smash that like button subscribe to my channel comment below your thoughts on ripple xrp do you think it will go up do you think it's a great project long term what do you think of the price and i'll keep you guys up to date on my thoughts so subscribe to my channel to make sure you get the notification when i'm trading and how i'm trading ripple xrp and i'll still be producing content on youtube um, this is for people that want to take their trading to the next level i'll still be providing you guys really valuable insightful content like i've always done for the past two years thank you very much smash that like button subscribe to my channel comment below your thoughts on ripple xrp and i'll see you guys soon with another great video thank you very much